Hi, welcome to what's happening here at the top five stories. At number one, the Lagos State Government has commenced the release of impounded vehicles to their owners without payment or fines. Speaking with journalists, the Commissioner for Transportation, Frederick Oladeinde, said the ongoing exercise commenced during the weekend. Oladeinde explained that the governor's proposal came in due to the current cash crunch. He added that those who wanted to pay or couldn't pay as a result of the shortage of cash should come and pick up their cars and he has waived the fines. Recalling the state's government reduced public transport fares by 50% amidst the cash scarcity. At number two, the Independence National Electoral Commission has said that information in the bimodal voter accreditation system used for February 25th presidential poll is intact. The Electoral Commission lead counsel Tanimu Inuwa gave the assurance on Tuesday at the Court of Appeal in Abuja while opposing an application filed by the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi on beavers deployed in the presidential poll. Recalling obese lawyers also applied to obtain the certified true copy of all the data in the beavers. However, INEC, through its team of lawyers compromising of four senior advocates of Nigeria, led by Inuwa, urged the court to refuse the application. At number three, marking the International Women's Day, the Nigerian President Muhammad Bari pledged his regime's commitment to ensuring equal opportunity for women in Nigeria. Bari acknowledged the invaluable role that women have played in advancing the progress of the country since independence, saying they have continued to deliver excellently despite all odds. In a statement signed by the President's spokesperson Femi Adesino, the President pledged the commitment of the government to promoting gender equality, respect for the rights of women and working consistently to remove all barriers that prevent Nigerian women from realizing their universal rights. At number four, the Kano State Governor Abdullahi Ganduje has pardoned and released 12 inmates on death row and also committed the death sentences of six inmates to life imprisonment. The Public Relations Officer Nigeria Correctional Service Kanu Command Mushbao Kenasarawa confirmed the development in the statement. The statement said Ganduje equally pardoned four female inmates with long-term sentences based on their good behavior and as recommended by the Correctional Authority. According to the statement, some of the pardoned inmates have spent 25 years awaiting execution. At number 5, according to reports, the White House has moved for a bill that would allow the United States to ban Chinese-owned video sharing app TikTok, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said in a statement. The bill would empower the United States government to prevent certain foreign governments from exploiting technology services in a way that poses risk to American sensitive data and their national security. The Senate bill and the backing of the White House accelerated the political momentum against TikTok. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.